Hi guys, welcome back to the One Auto channel. My name's Rob. Today I've got in a Renault Clio 2001. It's in today for excessive noise from a front wheel bearing, excessive play from a front wheel bearing. Just wanted to show you this, I've already got it on the ramp. And uh, <coughs> just take a look at this. As you can see, there's quite a lot of movement side to side and up and down. Definitely coming from the wheel bearing. So, top and bottom, rock back. And you can see there that everything's moving, drive shaft, everything. That's a, that's a shot wheel bearing. So uh, I'll start stripping it down and uh, take a look. Something not quite right here, someone has been here before. Take a look at this. Something not quite right with that drive shaft nut. Hmm, very suspicious. Lots of filings there as well. Hmm. One thing I noticed a minute ago as well are signs that these two bolts here, this one and this one, they've recently been undone. You can tell with the, that a socket has been on those rusty nuts there. So, And let's take another look. There you go. And up there on those two, just here, and the one above, two caliper carrier bolts as well. You can tell that those have been recently recently played with and wouldn't you know those two as well that hold the hub carrier to the shock absorber they've had spanners on as well hmm. this, uh, back a bit. bit of brake the whole brake caliper whole brake caliper off. That's it, push those back a bit. And we've got an 18mm. There's two bolts. Can't quite get in there with the gun. Always support your caliper, don't let it hang on the uh, flexi. I use these little hooks. Let me show you those. These little hooks, they actually come with exhaust pipes. They hang exhaust pipes in, in, the, factor, in the factors in the racking, so really handy for this sort of thing. Look through there and hook it up on the suspension leg. Supporting the weight and it's out of your way as well. Right. So I'm doing this drive shaft nut. Something suspicious here. It looks like this drive shaft nut's been cut off, been shortened. <clears throat> Maybe they burred the end over. And what have we got ourselves into? Let's Mil. Oh. Oh, well. I 
I think the name of the game here is this has been bodged up. There's a very badly cross-threaded, I don't know if you can see in there, very badly cross-threaded drive shaft nut. Can you see in there? There you go. That is horrendous. Okay, let me show you guys this. Someone knows more about this than they're letting on. There we go, is that better? All those filings are from it being cross threaded. It probably hasn't got to the right right torque and knack of the wheel bearing. Okay, we need to release this bottom ball joint. Two bolts, 18 millimeter. Okay, the bottom ball joint is undone now. So this, this is free to move. What should happen now is this drive shaft should be able to push out from the hub and it's, it's solid in there. I suspect what's happened is someone's been here and they've been welting this with a hammer. They've burred the end over, therefore they've chopped the end off and just drove that drive shaft nut back on to get it back together. Um, an air chisel. This CV joint on the end of the drive shaft is shot. It's going to need to be replaced so we can't damage it anymore. Okay, that's the uh, noisy, noisy compressors cut out now, so let's get this out. There's something else I've just noticed. I did think this drive shaft nut didn't look like the correct type to me. So I've gone on the other side, let me show you. The wheel's still on, but I've taken the centre cap off. And uh, in there, you may be able to see that is a completely different style of drive shaft, drive shaft nut. Whereas this has the the collar, this end that you uh, clean over. Hub off. It's a 21 mil, 21 mil nut, 21 mil bolt. That one I've loosened a minute ago. those out. Zip, track right end off. Now, do 
the ABS plug. Let's just show you what that's like. This is the one here. And there's a couple of little tabs, one there and one the other side. You just need to press in to, to disconnect that. Okay, over on the bench now. Here it is. Wobbling array. Got all these marks on the on the disc just here. It's, it's off the brake pads. It's, it's probably where it's been standing and it's just corroded. It, or is it go faster? No, I don't think it's going faster. Light and stripes. But there we go. You've got to um, take the disc off. These two. There's one, one here, one here. There are 30 torques. Let's get them wisdom done. Hammer, not a metal hammer, it doesn't damage a disc. Okay, what I've got to do now is drive out the centerpiece here, which is the which is this hub, and drive this out. Put it in the vice. You could do this. You could do this in the press if you wanted to. I've just got an old drive I've had for years. And it fits the centre of pretty much any hut. Moving. is your inner race of the, the bearing. We've got to pull that off. Or sometimes, uh, if you can't get a puller in there, you can grind, grind a flat, really thin, not going quite down to the hub, and uh, chip it, chisel it, it'll crack and it, it'll come off. This inner, inner piece here, this is a piece that's just uh, the seal basically at the back of the bearing. That can just be go the lever off quite easily. Now, I haven't got a puller, there's hardly anything to grab up with there or there. I haven't got anything suitable, so what I'm going to do is what I normally do to be fair grind, grind a flat there, you'll see it, and uh, I'll show you the end result. But always. Put them on. Okay, grinding over, and uh, this is what this is what I wanted to achieve here. You got to see that I've ground a flat in that. Got the torch right. There we go. Ground a 
round it flat and basically what, what you're doing there with a zoom is you see these you've got like three marks that's just taking it down just caught the, the inside of this hub but that should be okay so what I'm going to do now I'll stick a chisel behind here and it should crack that all the way up so that this inner race then comes off Tiny, tiny little marks, that's not going to affect anything when the new bearing goes back on there, you won't even know. What I was just, just checking just down there is that sometimes when the bearings are worn as bad as this, this is sitting on there and it actually spins, it spins like this, where it sits there and it wears some of this away. So you put a new wheel, wheel bearing in but it, it's, it's still all loose and flopping around, so uh, yeah, that's good news anyway. So I've just spoken to the customer about this drive shaft work it's had done. He said it's recently had a clutch fitted somewhere. So yeah, he thinks that the, the, the damage on this thread was done by whoever fitted the clutch. Anyway, it's cost him a drive shaft, so I've got to get a drive shaft ordered. Uh, that'll be here later in the day and we'll carry on then. But in the meantime, we'll get this bearing changed. Okay, it's started really raining outside. I don't know if you can hear the noise of the rain on the roof, but I've got to get this uh, bearing out of this hub and um, there's a snap ring that's, that's in there. I've got to get out first, Let's see if we can get you zoomed in on that a little bit. And there we go. Focus is just in, in there, there we go. So we've got this section, this ring here, got to pick that out and um, come under there, under there and get this ring out of there. And it allow us, it allow us to push the bearing out. Okay, I've got this hub set up in the press now. Um, just got a couple of blocks under there. It gives me about a quarter of an inch where I can press down just to get the bearing moving. Renault bearings are notoriously difficult to get out. Uh, lots of tonnage used to, to get it out. So we just get it moving first and we can set it, set it up again, get it level, uh, to push it the rest of the way out. As you can see that's that's flush now with the edge of this carrier so uh, I'll rig it up and we'll press it out the rest of the way. Okay, so I'm going to change this drive shaft out and I'll just show you what, I'll, what I need to be doing. S steady there folks. Okay, I'm changing this drive shaft. You can get a CV joint apparently, but for the labour involved, uh, and I think it's about £20 difference, it's not, not a lot of money. I've got to have to go inside there and there's three, uh, three bolts in a triangle to remove this out of the gearbox. 
Um, so I'm going to uh, undo this shield and get with this shield out of the way and I'll, I'll come back to you when I've got the drive shaft out. Oh, I've got to drain the gearbox all as well. drive shaft out and there's three of these 13 mil bolts here. It's difficult to film this, I'll just zoom you out and uh, you'll get the idea, you know what I'm doing. Two. That's three. And this drive shaft will just slide out. This one with the bolt. Okay, so the new bearings turned up. Great stuff. This one's got a little tapered edge. Just on this edge here you can see, so I'm guessing that this is going to go down. I just like to get the hub and just run a bit of light grease around there. Just aids installation really. That's it, beautiful. All right, get this pressed in then. Basically exactly the same size as this bearing here, so I'm just going to use the old bearing just to push it home. Place that on top. There we have it. So uh, that's it. All we've got to do now is put the clip. Back in there, retaining clip. We get a new one come with the uh, the bearing, and then we'll just uh, get the hub and we'll push it in from from this way, whilst supporting the inner race. Just there. Got the hub in there, just put a spacer that's um, going to support the inner race there. Hopefully. Wait for a drive shaft to come now. Of course, we can. Uh, we're waiting for the drive shaft. What is this got? This is all pretty clean. It's all been off.
back the next day, got me a new drive shaft. This was delivered late last night. And these are quite a bit longer than the old one. The other one had been cut short down there, so great. Put it on a bit of time lapse for you, so enjoy while I put it back together. Together. Now that is what it should look like. And the new shaft installed. Right up there. What we've got to do now is put the gear oil back in. There's a bung up there, just a little plastic bung, we'll take that out, a little butterfly looking thing, and uh, fill the oil up. Well that's about it, um, gear oil is all back in, there's a steel saw going off in the background, another unit somewhere, hope you can hear me okay. Uh, that's about it, I'm going to put the wheel on and uh, let's, let's see if it's all okay. Four. That's this wheel all talked up, this job's done. Quick road test, make sure everything's okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel below. Connect to us on Facebook, on Twitter, and Google+. See you next time.